Hey, how's it going everybody? I am the Eastern Mountain Hiker and today I've got a review for you. Uh, so a little while back, Earthpack uh, was gracious enough to send me one of their uh, waterproof duffel bags and they asked me to test it. Uh, so I received this uh, just before winter time and although I didn't really test it through winter, early spring, I figured, you know, it's rainy, getting into summer, I'll start doing some testing. So what I want to do is go over a few of the specs. So Earthpack has a couple of these waterproof duffel bags. This nice blue color, uh, black and green. They're also available in two sizes, the 50 liter and the 70 liter. This here is the 50 liter. So both bags are made from 500D uh, PVC to keep them waterproof. The 50 liter, like this one here, weighs in about two and a half pounds and the 70 liter weighs in at three pounds. So on the outside, you can see there's a little mesh pocket. Good for putting stuff you want easy access to. On the inside, there's two more mesh pockets. So to close the main compartment, it's actually a fold down style. And you usually want to fold this over two to three times. And there's these little clips on the end. Voila. This duffel bag also comes with an adjustable shoulder strap. This bag also has a couple other features. There's a couple of tie downs here. There's one on this side and on the back side here. There's one as well. And kind of an interesting feature too. Uh, on the end, there's a little reflective strip. So when it comes to testing this bag, uh, I'm gonna test a couple things. I wanna test obviously the waterproof ability, but also like the practicality. So I don't think this is necessarily geared towards backpackers, but what I think this is probably good for is canoe camping or kayak camping. Now I have a kayak and I think I'm gonna take this on maybe a little overnighter. I might also test this out uh, backpacking, you know, just to kind of put it through its paces. Uh, and also this summer, I'm gonna be heading to Myrtle Beach. So I think this would be a good bag to take down to the beach as well. So I'm gonna put it through a couple of different tests. Uh, also, I think I'm gonna have my kids help me out this afternoon. Maybe we'll test this, this bag out, maybe a little bit unconventional. So my initial thoughts on this bag, uh, it looks like it's pretty good quality. Uh, the stitching looks good, the, you know, the workmanship, you know, look, looks pretty good. And I think this will be a nice addition to some of the bags I already have, but I'm definitely gonna put it through its paces and test it out. Alrighty, well, let's do some testing. Hey guys, how's it going? Well, I'm in my backyard, as you can see. I'm going to be doing a little bit of testing with this waterproof bag. Uh, I want to make sure I do a, a full thorough test. And I'm actually going to have my kids help me out. I hope. I'm going to have my kids help me a little bit. Okay. Okay. <laughs> that is cold. All right, guys. I'm out here in the backyard with the Earth Pack duffel bag. I got a sleeping bag uh, in here. And I also have it rolled up, so it should be waterproof. And we're going to test the. We're going to test the waterproofness of the bag. Oh, okay. Okay, so the sleeping bag did not get wet, so we're going to continue to test. The... Oh, that's cool. We're going to continue to test the bag. All right, guys, well, the sleeping bag is still dry, so we're going to continue to test the waterproof. The waterproofness of the bag. And that's, that's hot. It's hot. Hot. Turn it off. No. <laughs> I told them to do this. I was here. All right, now to do some uh, real testing. Uh, one, because I'm out of dry shirts, and two, because I really want to test the waterproofness of this bag. Uh, same sleeping bag is still in here from the prior tests. Um, but I'm going to soak this with a hose. Alright, let's uh, open it up and see. Little bit of water here on the sides, but that might have just been from uh, for me, uh, you know, un unraveling this thing. But she's dry. Looks pretty good.
Hey guys, how's it going? Well, I've had a lot of time with this bag to test it. And I've been testing it out over the last several months. I didn't really use it throughout the winter, but uh, this spring, summer, uh, I really put this bag to the test. Uh, I also had a lot of fun, uh, you know, making the first couple videos. Uh, on the plus side, uh, I didn't have any issues with the bag leaking. Uh, you know, it's called a waterproof bag. I didn't like submerge this thing, uh, but in all the instances where I tested this, uh, you know, out in the woods, on the water, uh, at the beach, I never had an issue with this bag leaking. Um, actually, at the beach, uh, my wife actually really enjoyed this bag a lot because we, we put all the towels in it. And, um, you know, it was great, you know, just to bring down to the beach and, you know, keep your stuff dry and keep the sand out of it. Um, I went for a little day trip on the kayak uh, and, you know, it worked out great. I'm glad I didn't roll the kayak or actually go, you know, in the water, you know, with the bag, but kept all my stuff dry. Um, as for backpacking, uh, I wouldn't really use this for backpacking because it's, you know, it's a, it's a duffel bag. Um, you know, it does have a does have a nice strap. Uh, not so much for backpacking, although I did take it on a backpacking trip just to kind of put it through its paces. Uh, but I packed the bag pretty light. Uh, because it only just has the one shoulder strap and going through the woods, you know, it's not it's not really designed for backpacking But as a waterproof bag, you know for like day hikes or to you know put a lot of stuff in for the beach uh, Definitely a really good bag for that a couple other things I did with the bag put this in my car And I have my 72 hour hiking bag and went for a hike in the rain put that in there opened it up afterwards Everything was nice and dry um, Just basically used it as a utility bag Couple other pluses, uh, you know, for tying this bag down, it does have some, you know, very sturdy, um, you know, hardware on the outside. I uh, didn't have any issue with, you know, any of the straps, pockets, or anything. Uh, everything seems to be of really good quality, and I had no issues with the straps, pockets, um, you know, rolling this down for, you know, waterproofing. Uh, my dislikes, um, really not a whole lot. I will say one thing as a dislike is actually the smell. Uh, it does have a heavy plastic smell. Uh, probably not much you can do about that. But really, other than that, um, there's not anything else that I really dislike about the bag. So if you're looking to pick up a waterproof duffel bag, um, this is a really good one. I'll put a link in the description down below. And I just want to say thank you to Earthpack for letting me test this out. All right, guys, be sure to like the video, subscribe if you're not a subscriber, and I'll catch you on the next one.